Welcome back to the show, everyone. We have a puppy party going on here today. Mandy James and also Audrey James join us. They are with the Heart of Louisiana Humane Society, which is basically from Wynn Parish. Yes, ma'am. But they do volunteer. They're gearing up for an adoption weekend. And, ladies, thanks so much for coming in. And, of course, thanks for bringing the puppies. We have Melissa, who is our digital <laughs> goddess here at uh, the station, and also Brooke Buford, are here to help babysit. Yes, ma'am. What is taking place? So next weekend, September 11th through the 13th from 9 to 5, we'll be having a big adoption tent event for Heart of Louisiana Humane Society. And we will have tons of dogs. We've actually got other rescues that are going to come and be there with us as well. So um, our goal is 100 dogs to get placed in homes. So um, they all come with, um, they'll be spayed and neutered before we adopt them out mm -hmm. because, you know, that's our whole philosophy Absolutely. here. And so uh, their adoption fee is $150, and that covers um, their spay neuter, their shots, and anything they'll need to be to be updated for vet care. Okay. So how will folks know, or is there a way that they can see the animals that are up for adoption before you actually come into town? Uh, we do have them listed. A lot of times we'll take pictures and post them on our Facebook page, which is the Heart of Louisiana uh, Humane Society. So you can see them on there. We have them listed on Pet Finder as well. But a lot of times we'll just bring them to the adoption event and people can come out and look at them. We'll have tons of them there and they'll be able to see, you know, all the cute ones we have. A lot of people think of, you know, a rescue as this big mutt dog. And we do have those. But in my opinion, rescues make the best pets in the world. I have five personal rescues and then five fosters, and I wouldn't change it for the world. But as you can see, we've got precious little bitty babies but also in rescue. Tell us about these babies, because you also have the mama as well. I do have the mama. She is a full-blooded Dotson. She came from an abusive home, and she's doing much better now. I've had them all for about six weeks, but the mama started heartworm treatment yesterday. So she was not able to come today, but we've got Marley over here. He's a little male, and they're nine weeks old. And then we have Mia and Maya. And Maya is this little one here, and she's actually got a birth deformity where her back legs aren't actually connected in her hip sockets. It's not causing any pain or anything, but she's got, you know, a different little walk, as you can see her walk in. Yeah. But um, little, maybe little when she gets older, needs. surgery corrective, you know, it could be yeah. corrected with surgery. So but right now... So she's going to need to go to a special home. She yes. will. She'll need to go to someone who understands and has some yeah. patience with her. She, but, but you can tell she's not in she, any pain. She's not, and she stays right up there with her brothers and sisters. She don't let it stop her, that's for Beautiful. sure. Three little girls. No, mm -hmm. ma'am. Marley is actually a little boy, even though he looks like little girl. Oh, okay. Yes, he does. He's so cute. Tell us the other types of animals, obviously cats We as do. Well. We have cats as well, and there will be cats there this uh, next weekend at adoption event. Um, I mainly foster dogs because that's what I have in my house, but we've got tons of kittens and cats that need adoption as well. Audrey, so. what do you want to add? Mm -hmm. That these dogs and cats deserve a they loving do. family. They do. They're very sweet. Like she said, they make the best pets. I have one from them that she actually found for me, and he's my baby, and they're just precious. And aren't they so appreciative? Yes. Okay, y'all are. are also competing for a grant. We are. We are competing for a grant. Um, we're actually the number one rescue in Louisiana right now with the highest adoption rate. Congratulations. So, thank you. We're very, very proud of it. So um, our goal is 100 pets, and we're trying to have the highest adoption rate between May and September. And if we we do we can we're actually in the running for a twenty thousand dollar grant wow and that is just unreal for what our what would that do for the heart of louisiana the, humane society the, i mean you wouldn't believe the animals that we would be able to take in and vet because you know it costs money and we're a non-profit organization this is all volunteers and fosters and donations that we simply go off of and getting a grant like that would just mean major changes for our rescue. It would help out so much. We'd be able to take in way more animals and be able to vet them and spay and neuter. Isn't that wonderful? So for more information, give us details about when you will be in the Sam's parking lot next we weekend. We will be, yes ma'am, Sam's parking lot. Um, September 11th through the 13th, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And we'll be there all day, all weekend. So come out and see all these cute babies and try to find you a little furry. Very Looking baby. far forever home. Forever home. Brooke, staring right at me. Thank Francis. you so <laughs> much for puppy sitting, Melissa. Anytime. Thank you, ladies. Yes, yes, thank you, and Audrey. Thank you, ladies. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you all so much. Come on, Central Louisiana. Let's let's get those 100 adoptions next weekend. Stay with us. More good day sunlight coming up in just a second.